Let us solve one problem on interrupt and this question came in the year 2007 GATE exam. So, we know that whenever one interrupt occurs, then the current instruction which was in execution will get completed and then corresponding interrupt will be handled. Let us suppose there is one instruction which is taking say 6 clock cycles to get executed. When the second clock cycle is ticking, then one interrupt has occurred. Then it will have to wait for the next 4 clock cycles and it should remain activated. The interrupt request line should remain enabled. So, that after completion of the instruction in total 6 clock cycles, after causing interrupt 4 clock cycles, it will have to wait, then the interrupt will get the service. So, that is a basic philosophy of interrupt handling. So, let us consider this particular problem, what they are telling. Consider the following program segment, here R1, R2 and R3 are the GPRs, general purpose registers. Okay? The starting address of the program is 1000. So, let me do a sketch here. So, starting at this is 1000, so it is confirmed. Okay, next. The instruction sets are given, the respective uh, comments and the size they have given. So, move R1 3000 within bracket. That means, 3000 is not an operand, but address of the operand. So, content, memory content of 3000 will be moved to R1. Similarly, the register R3 content will be moving to R2. R2, R1 will be added and that will be stored in R2. R2's content will be saved in the memory location pointed by R3. R3 current's content will be incremented by 1. R1's current content will be decremented by 1. And branch will take place if it is not equal to 0 to the loop. The branch will take place and then halt. So, in this way, I think the loop must be somewhere in between. Okay, now, let me go for that. So, let us, let us make the loop here might be in the question the loop was there, but that is not a point of concern. The concern point is that assume memory is byte addressable. So, memory is byte addressable. That means, each and every location of the memory is containing one byte of information. Okay. And word size is 32 bits. So, each and every word is of 32 bits. That means, each and every instruction is occupying 4 bytes in the computer's memory. Why? because 32 by 8 is equal to 4. Each and every instruction is of 32 bits, word size is of 32 bits and each and every location can hold 8 bits of data. That means, each and every instruction will take 4 bytes to, to get represented inside the computer's memory. Okay. If an interrupt occurs during the execution of INC R3, let me find out, this is the INC R3. So, here the interrupt has occurred. Instruction uh, execution of instruction INC R3, then what return address will be pushed on the top of the stack. When interrupt will occur, then the current program will get postponed after execution at the end of the current instruction. Then the return address of the program will be pushed on the top of the stack and then the respective interrupt handling routine will get executed and then again when the interrupt handling, handling routine will be executing read or return instruction, then the program control will be coming back to this particular program and from the top of uh, address of the stack, I shall be picking up the respective return address and then with that from that return address, the instruction will go on executing. So, that is the basic thing. So, now let me go for the calculations. So, my starting address is 1000, okay, it is I know. So, now see the first is, so let me calculate the address of this INC R3, let me calculate that one. So, that is 1000 plus 2, uh, two word size, number of words, 2 word size here, 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, I think. So, 1 plus 1 plus 1, if I go for 3 ones, then I am getting in total, I am getting this is the total number of 1. So, I am taking this one, huh? 2 and then this one, up to this I am taking. So, now it will be multiplied by 
32 and should be divided by 8. Why? Because 32 bits per instruction and 8 bits per memory location. So, what is the instruction with 4 bytes? So, I am writing this one. So, what will be the value then? It is nothing but it is nothing but 5 into 32 by this. So, that is 1020. So, 1020 will be the address. Good. Now, see that is up to this and this instruction is also having another one word. This instruction is also having another one word because interrupt will get generated when this instruction is executing. But the thing is that after completion of that instruction, then the next instructions address will be pushed on the top of the stack. So, the address whatever is going to be pushed will be this plus one word that means 4 bytes is equal to 1024 will be pushed on the top of the stack. In this way, this particular thing will take place. I think you got, got my answer. So, 1020 plus 4 will be the address of the next instruction and that will be pushed on the top of the stack because this instruction is supposed to get executed, should get finished, then the next instructions address will be pushed on the top of the stack and from there the execution will be resumed. So, let me go for this answer. So, C is the answer with 1024. So, in this way, I have done the calculation. So, this sort of interrupt related problems might be coming in the gate and you should have to tackle the problem accordingly. I have given the explanation and all. Thanks for watching this particular video.